One seven to ten, yeah. Um, I suppose I, I wasn't keeping a, a track on the scoreboard there at the end, but um, referee did come to the sideline there with about five minutes to go, and uh, he, he, he signals to the Tipperary bench it was one seven to ten. Um, so we've no complaints over that. So you're happy enough for the last couple of minutes that you were looking for the winner and not an equaliser? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I even thought I thought we were the better team today. Um, I suppose we, when Rebecca went over on her knee, I'd say kind of took the glass off. Uh, Took the shine off a few of our players a little bit, and um, we're probably concerned for her and things like that. So, uh, I suppose on the day, the day it is, I suppose it draws a fair result. Yeah, your your own first day out in the job. How did you find the, the performance overall? Was it, was it, would you look at it as a mixed performance, you know, over the sixty minutes, or, or what way are you looking at? It? Yeah, I suppose it was a mixed performance. It was like with no fault of the effort from the girls. Now I did a very good effort. Um, you know, and they've been working hard for the last six weeks. Um, what I did, conditions were very very t- uh, heavy and stuff there as well. You know, so. Um, like it did play a bit in the game because I suppose over the last couple of weeks we've been working on Astro Turf and stuff like that, and the ball has been flying all over the place. And today, it kind of just stuck a little bit more. Um, so I did. I the, the, the fight of the game wasn't what we would have wanted. It would have been a lot faster. Because I think it would have suited us a lot more today, um, especially getting that killer ball into the inside line. Yeah, you, you're without Niamh Mulcahy. It's well doc, well documented this year. Um, is it, it's up to other players to step up. I think um, Rebecca Lee did that today, but unfortunately, it looks like uh, a knee injury may be ruling her out for I suppose the medium to long term at, at this stage. Yeah, just looking Niamh and best wishes to Niamh. You know, she's been at it a long time, and it's her first break, and it's hard to fault girls like. The girls here at the moment are on five nights a week on the, on sessions like they're they're equaling the what's what the men are doing, um, and they're not getting the breaks with regards to taking time off and things like that. You know, so yeah, it, it, it's a pity she's gone. You never know what will happen dur- during the year. Um, she may return home. You wouldn't know what will happen. But Rebecca, yeah, Rebecca was there to stand up to, I suppose, take her her void at the centre forwards. But it's up to the other six forwards, and we've, we we still have four young girls that we didn't get a chance to get in there today. Um, that we'd hope to get in against Galway. So um, it's up to the six forwards that are going to have to rise to the challenge on that one. Yeah, Quiva Castle, she's joint captain. She's straight on to free taking duties. Yeah. I suppose a lot of a lot of long range ones, probably not too many close to goal. That's probably something you're conscious of. That if you are to be winning frees, you'd be looking to win them a lot, an awful lot closer to the goal going forward. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what we were saying about that killer ball to the inside line. Like you know, you'd want to be sending up all uh, as, as close to the goals as possible, and, and uh, you know maybe getting a few of those frees. Um, but look, you know we're back to the training field now again next week, and something we can work on again. So. Can we turn to the Galway game, Paul? It's a three-week break now, and obviously it's going to be a much, much tougher test. Oh, sure. Look, Galway, they're, just, they're, they're elite, but um, the girls have the aspirations of, of trying to bridge the gap between ourselves and Galway and the Corks and the Kilkenny's, you know. Um, it'll be a great test. It'll be a great challenge for, um, I suppose, the two or three more of the newcomers again. Like, we two out there today, Orla Keller, who was outstanding, and Noreen... Um, Lennon and the cornerback again, two very young girls, first day out, and they were they were outstanding. Um, so it's, it's a chance. It's a, a, again, it's the girls have to just realise that it's a step up, but it's a step up they want to take. So um, I'm sure they'll they'll give us everything they will for the next day. What is the position with Sarah Carey? No, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah will be back with us in due course. Yeah. So hopefully in the next week or two, Sarah will be back to us. So she signals she she is coming back. Um, so we hope to have her in the field maybe next weekend again. So. And you'd be hopeful that she would fill in against Galway. Well, yeah, absolutely. She, she should figure out some part anyway. You know, she she has been training away. She has been given her gym program. She's been doing all that all herself. You know, so it's just a bit of ball work into her. Um, and she's Sarah Carey. It's not going to be too much too much missing from from Sarah when she comes back. Um, like she gives it everything. So I'd say you know she should feature maybe 30 minutes against Galway, and if not, definitely against Dublin again uh, two weeks later. Not again. So.